It was the 1995 interview we all remember, which shook the royal family and had consequences far greater than the BBC could have imagined. Do you think Mrs Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. But tonight, the consequences for the BBC are significant and serious. Today, an investigation by former judge Lord Dyson concluded the BBC had been deceitful in how it secured its world exclusive with Princess Diana. And tonight, her son, Prince William, reacted and he didn't hold back. It is welcome that the BBC accepts Lord Dyson's findings in full, which are extremely concerning. That BBC employees lied and used fake documents to obtain the interview with my mother, made lurid and false claims about the royal family, which played on her fears and fueled paranoia, displayed woeful incompetence when investigating complaints and concerns about the programme, and were evasive in their reporting to the media and covered up what they knew from their internal investigation. It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others. And a reaction tonight from Prince Harry, who said media practices such as this killed his mother. He said, our mother lost her life because of this and nothing has changed. By protecting her legacy, we protect everyone and uphold the dignity with which she lived her life. Let's remember who she was and what she stood for. Prince William was 13 when his mother gave that interview. He was 15 when she died less than two years later. He spoke today of how the Panorama interview affected the final years he spent with her. It brings indescribable sadness to know that the BBC's failures contributed significantly to her fear, paranoia and isolation that I remember from those final years with her. But what saddens me most is that if the BBC had properly investigated the complaints and concerns first raised in 1995, my mother would have known that she had been deceived. She was failed not just by a rogue reporter, but by leaders at the BBC who looked the other way rather than asking the tough questions. The tough questions, Prince William said, were not asked relate to the internal inquiry in 1996 by this man, Tony Hall, now Lord Hall, the former Director General. Today's report found his investigation was flawed and the BBC's current Director General had to apologise. We've offered a full apology to those that have been affected. Is it your view that there are some criminal investigations which are warranted as a result of what Lord Dyson has found? Well, as you'd expect, I can't judge that. That has to be a matter for the police to look at what um, is available in Lord Dyson's report. But you're willing report. to admit that forgery has been committed here in order Indeed, to the, the, deceive the, Princess Diana? The, the, the documents were faked, forged. I can only be driven by what is in the Dyson report. That clearly demonstrates major BBC failings which, you know, I, I think it is a dark day for the BBC. The former judge was called in to investigate what Panorama's reporter Martin Bashir had done to secure the Diana interview. The report concluded he deceived Diana's brother, Earl Spencer. He forged bank statements to claim Earl Spencer's staff were being paid for leaking stories. Mr Bashir used them to get a meeting. Today's report did publish a handwritten note from Princess Diana herself in December 1995. She wrote that she consented to the interview and had no regrets. Martin Bashir, who's now left his job as the BBC's religion editor on health grounds, said today he did regret forging the bank statements. It was, he said, a stupid thing to do and was an action I deeply regret, but the bank statements had no bearing whatsoever on the personal choice by Princess Diana to take part in the interview. But that interview said Diana's oldest son tonight should never be aired again. It is my firm view that this panorama programme holds no legitimacy and should never be aired again. The BBC says it commissioned this inquiry because it wanted to uncover the truth. It cannot be surprised then by the reaction tonight from Diana's two sons.